Hi, my name is Autumn Wintersgill from Knitting in the Red, and today we're going to talk about knitting a rolled edge ribbed hat. To begin, you'll need to start casting on a number of stitches, either an odd number or an even number. If you want to do a knit one, purl one rib, you'll need to cast on an odd number of stitches, and if you want to do a knit two, purl two rib, you'll need to cast on an even number of stitches. After you've casted on the number of stitches that you need to make your hat, you'll want to join in the round. Place your circular needle on the table in front of you and make sure that the foundational part of your stitches is facing on the inside of the cable all the way around the needle. This is very important so that you don't twist your stitches while you're knitting. You will take one stitch marker and place it on the right hand needle where you stopped casting on. Make sure that your tail of yarn is out of the way and with your yarn in the back you will join in the round. To do this you will simply go into the very first stitch that you cast on on left needle and you will knit it so that the working yarn is joining the first stitch to the last stitch. The stitch marker is going to mark the beginning of your round. If I want a three inch brim on this hat, I will need to do six inches of knitting in order to fold the brim up at a three inch point. After completing your brim, you'll begin the decreases for your hat to form the crown of the hat. To do this, we're going to start at the beginning of a round. And we are going to knit one, purl one, three times. Knit one. And we are going to slip the next two stitches. Knit the next stitch. And then pass both of those slip stitches over the stitch that you knitted. That is one decrease and it's going to be a left leaning decrease. So all the decreases that you're working are going to face the same direction. You will be doing a decrease at the point where your previous decrease was so everything will line up in the same direction. So here I am on top of the stitches where I have a decrease. By doing this, you're going to do an even decrease pattern around the entire hat. Now that you've made enough decreases so that your stitches will no longer fit on your circular needle, you'll need to change to double point needles. To change to double pointed needles, knit all the stitches off of the circular needle and separate them onto three different needles and you'll need a fourth needle to work all of the stitches with. We're just going to make our decreases like so and if you have one stitch left on a needle and you need to make a decrease, slip it onto the right needle, drop the needle that you just worked, change to the next needle and slip that stitch back on to the left needle so that you can work that decrease. When you are left with four stitches, you'll need to break the yarn and pull it through all of the stitches around and then pull tightly at the top to secure it. And then you will be left with a finished ribbed hat. Again, my name is Autumn Winterskill from Knitting in the Red and you just learned how to knit a rolled edge ribbed hat.